this build. We, we lost a week due to festivals in, in the middle of the build. So actually we're on five weeks on this one and Leo's doing a pretty good job to stay ahead. Time becomes an issue when time is the thing that we don't have because we're gonna get this place open in six weeks. It's a lot of long days, a lot of long hours, uh, but we've always made it come together in the end and we will. So this, this space was actually a, a coffee shop. So we've transferred their license over to us. So we try to keep the shape of the space um, as, as, as much to, to plan as possible. Um, that allows us to, to reduce the build out time, reduces the time for transferring of licenses, and means we can open quickly. Yeah, I think and, if it, and if we don't, it's his <laughs> fucking fault. <laughs> <laughs> then, it becomes, then it becomes his fault. <laughs> <laughs> Who then blames it on him? So this, this was our first store. This is Wan Chai on Landell Street. It took us five weeks to build out. It was a Sichuan restaurant at the time. It's been a real success story. And, and this one has actually been mentioned in the, in the Michelin Guide. So this is, uh, this is the one that we're extremely proud of. This is where it all began. I'd like to think that we, 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 we did something that, that, that was, was necessary in the marketplace, but also something that people are now racing to try to replicate. And uh, good luck, but uh, it's, not, it's not really worked out well for, for, for quite a few of them so far. So. quick rundown on the pieces, the cuts of meat that we use in our burger. Um, in equal parts, we start off with chuck, brisket, and rum. When you mix all three of them together, we work with 75% lean meat to 25% fat yield. Um, and you will come up with the best burger in Hong Kong, perhaps in the world. That's it. This is where it all started, baby. People think it's, it's very easy to, to put together a, a, a quality hamburger, but it's not. You know, break it down using a Michelin star um, baker to make our bun. Taking the best beef you possibly can buy from Australia, grain fed, dry aging it for 30 days. Um, so making our own bacon, um, taking weeks to specialize our, our own burger sauce with our, you know, Eric's a fantastic chef most of the time. They were all my idea. He didn't come up with any of these. That's a lie. It is true. <laughs> it is true. So uh, first, let's start with our original burger here. This is the the basic Butcher's Club burger on our menu. Did it get a Michelin uh, recommendation? Mention? Yeah, yes. there's definitely a Michelin uh, recommendation on, on that burger. Yes, thank you for reminding me of that, sure. Jonathan. So this is uh, quite simply uh, Dry aged beef patty made up of a combination of chuck, rump, and brisket. And it's then topped with aged white cheddar cheese, maple and black pepper glazed bacon, our secret burger sauce, and that's piled onto a butter toasted scotch bath with a nice thick slice of tomato and some dill pickles. This next one is basically that, but doubled up. And rather than using a simple bun, we take two buns make a cheese sandwich and then grill them. Um, double bacon, double sauce, double cheese. Uh, probably the most Instagram food item in Hong Kong right now. The third one, my personal favorite, is the hogtail. And we've taken two, uh, two pork products here. One is slow-cooked pulled pork, which we cure, smoke, and uh, cook for about 48 hours. And then we've got Canadian-style pea meal bacon, uh, which we also make in-house. And then that's also on top of our dry aged beef patty with smoked cheddar cheese, pickled shallots, and honey mustard. The fourth and final one, which is from my hometown, which is um, Seoul, Korea, uh, <laughs> is the Wu Tang. And um, actually, Eric did it. The Wu Tang style. Wu Tang style. <laughs> Eric did invent this after the um, Gangnam style. And what we've got is a dry aged patty that we fry in sriracha sauce. 
Then that's topped with kimchi, sweet kiwi mayonnaise, and tempura sweet potato. It's delicious and one to try. Why not give yourself extra time? Why not make it an eight week long? Because we're paying goddamn rent. <laughs> I'm from Yorkshire. I don't like paying rent and not, not, not operating. Uh, I, think, I think five weeks is achievable. I think if we were trying to uh, push that any, any lower, um, we'd be a lot more pressed for time. I mean, obviously this, it's not done, but, uh, but it will be done. And we've done it before, uh, so we might as well stick to, stick to that precedent that we set. Myself and Eric have been involved in building restaurants all over the world, and, and you know, it, the, the process in Hong Kong is unique. It looks, it looks like a building site until the last day. It, it's always the same, and then on the last day, the contractors, the workmen, they manage to pull it out of the bag. How, why they do it that way, and how they do it that is, is beyond me. Um, so it, it may look a million miles away from a completed restaurant at the moment, but tomorrow, watch, watch it. You, you'll be here again, and you'll see, you'll see a completed uh, project. Touch wood. I don't know, if you look around, uh, last count I did, there were 41 people in here, uh, which is just uh, ridiculous, but it's how we make it's how we make this happen. Uh, we're less than, we're, we're well less than 24 hours away from opening. Uh, and a lot of these workers are gonna have to clock out around six, seven o'clock. The kitchen contractors are installing the equipment. Watch out right now, because we have a bar top coming through. You know, at the same time, all this is going on. We got product coming in. Um, so we're getting ready. We're opening tomorrow at noon. Uh, this morning, basically none of this was here. Uh, it's all here now, it's all working. Uh, got our draft beer system in. There's just like one key to opening a restaurant is uh, you always have you always have cold beer somewhere. Yeah. And then it's what gets us through. You can take a walk through the restaurant right now. It's, it's completely on point, uh, and it looks great. And it looks like we 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 spent the proper build time, whatever that means. Uh, so for us, you know, five weeks is a proper build time now. It's a great way to open a restaurant, like open air, burgers outside, music. It's a nice atmosphere. It's really a nice gesture by. We've had our best afternoon in any restaurant across our brand today. I think we're probably going to have the best evening in terms of sales for any restaurant across our brand this evening. Um, we've also got 2,000 people across the street here going insane, enjoying um, the band, enjoying the free beer. Uh, I think the suspension on my truck is fucked because we put three tons of beer and ice in there, but we'll work that out tomorrow. <laughs> Apart from that, it's a piece of shit anyways. <laughs> apart from that, I, honestly, today has been one of the best days of the, my life. The only thing that would make today even better is if Johnny does a luge. So Johnny, come on. Let's go. Fucking hate spirit. <laughs>